Go find the deals, negotiate the deal, figure out how to make the deal happen. Get a little bit creative, unconventional. That's where the money is being made right now. Inherited property is in a different state than where the heir lives. They don't want to be a landlord and they don't have the money to make repairs. Often these properties have not been updated in years. And so the heir is willing to sell at a discount. The heir needs money now and they're willing to sell the property at a discount to get cash. Now we got one, I just closed on this one two weeks ago, uh, direct to seller marketing, received our, our, our mail piece and then we followed up with a phone call. Uh, he had inherited the property from his grandmother who'd passed away. And when we called him, we said, what's the deal? And he explained to us, he says, but I'm not ready to sell. He said, grandma still has a lot of things in the property. I need to go through it. I need to sort it out. Uh, so why don't you call me in June and I'll be probably ready to buy and to sell in June. And I said, well, how about we do this? I said, would it be helpful if you had some cash to help pack and move grandma's stuff that's in the house? He said, yeah, why would it you have in mind? I said, well, how about we do this? How about I buy the house today and then I'll just give you until June before I take possession. So you will get all of your cash for the property now and you got four months, clean it up, do whatever you gotta do. I'll just sit and wait. Now we bought that house for $65,000. I quickly put it, put it out on Craigslist to see if there was another investor who might want it and was willing to carry it for the four months into June. And within a matter of minutes, we had an offer for $105,000 on a house that they were going to be able to possess until June because there's an inventory shortage. So I will never, I will never step foot in the house. I've never seen the inside of the house. Uh, we bought it. I'm happy to wait till June, but if somebody wants to give me a $30,000 profit now or a $40,000 profit now, yeah, it's a $40,000 profit on a house. I don't have to touch, renovate, fix, clean. That's a good deal. Okay. So that was a direct to seller marketing piece on an inherited property where they weren't yet ready to move. Uh, right now we're in the midst of negotiating on a deal where part of the purchase price is they are building a new house and they're not ready to move. So they need to sell their house now so that they can get the cash to put the down payment for the new construction, but they don't have anywhere to go. So they're saying, okay, Lee, we'll sell you our house now but you have to let us live here rent free for 12 months or until our house is done, whichever occurs first. It's simple math, you guys. Some of you are going, well, Lee, I don't know how I'd float that. Well, it's easy. You just negotiate the price down uh, to the point where you can afford to hold it. Because if something's going to appreciate 20% in a year, and even your capital cost is 12, you're still making 8% sitting on Kogo Capital money. So go find the deals, negotiate the deal, figure out how to make the deal happen. Get, get a little bit creative, unconventional. That's where the money is being made right now.